gag was selectively punishing thieves. Former Home Affairs Minister Ignatius Chombo must be wishing that he had been Joram Gombo. Not that I condone what Chombo has done to ruin Zimbabwe. He deserves what is happening to him. Anyone who is corrupt must be dealt with according to the law, and anyone suspected of corruption must be investigated accordingly. While President Emerson Ngagwa has vowed to deal with corruption, the only problem we have with him is that he seems to be selectively punishing the suspected thieves, targeting those with links to the former First Lady Grace Mugabe, while turning a blind eye to corrupt activities by members of his Lacoste faction within ZANU-PF. Gumbo reportedly ordered the Civil Aviation Authority of Zimbabwe his board to approve the awarding of a $33,3 million tender to Indra Sistmas and Hamtes Panyusa for the finance, supply and installation of an airspace management system without going to tender, but he is one of the ministers and Gagwa chooses to take with him to South Africa on his official visit to that country. The report about Gumbo ordering the CAS to award a project without going to tender warrants that he be arrested. Knowing as we do, an arrested person is innocent until proven guilty, so there wasn't anything amiss for Angagwa to order the arrest of Gumbo, who then had to prove himself innocent in a court of law. Gumbo was one of Angagwa's favorites, as evident from his being part of the president's first trip out of the country as head of state. He is one of the untouchables. So how will Ann Gagwa end corruption when he turns a blind eye to it when it involves members of his Lacoste faction? It seems he is doing the same thing as his mentor and predecessor Robert Mugabe. Zimbabweans must reject this and vote ZANU-PF out in the next elections.